Oh dear, I was going to, oh no, oh no. Hi guys, Cliff here. It's a beautiful evening and it's just enough time to give the ASG32 enlarged a test fly. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give this a test glide and if that's successful, if it trims out and it's controllable, then I'll, I'll launch it again with the power on and gosh, I really hope it goes well. Look at that. Fantastic. Right, I'll pause you there a minute while I get my bits ready. This is what this hobby's all about really, isn't it? Well, it is for me anyway. Experimentation, a bit of fun, beautiful field. And uh, all you guys to be up here with me. Excellent. That was good. I actually had elevator control in. I felt like it was pulling out. So let's try it with the motor on. Check the controls. Yep. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. I'm going to go for probably about half throttle. Let's see. Okay, I cut that short because it immediately went downhill, it wasn't climbing. I think I might have to try full throttle. Everything all right? Yep. It is nose heavy, I know that, so if I can just get it to climb out and do a circuit, I know it flies. So I'm going to go for full throttle this time. Wow. <laughs> Climbing like a homesick angel. I right, throttled back. Well, look at that. Woohoo! Turns nicely enough. It's got a little bit of Dutch rolling, is it? Let's open the throttle again. That's about yeah half throttle, and it holds its own. Right, I'm going to shut the throttle again, and I'm going to turn, and I want to come past the camera and open the throttle because it's going to be great to see. the motor pop up. That's hands off. It's not exactly penetrating. Probably wants to well, the wing loading's pretty high actually. Look at it glinting. That's nice. Don't know if we can see the motor from there. Motor up. Should we try a loop? Should we be brave? Here we go. Down elevator and full up. That's, no, I'm not going to do that. That just wasn't enough speed. I tell you what, though, it looks just like that little one in the sky, doesn't it? I'm gliding at the moment. Motor's going up now. <laughs> yeah, when the motor goes up, it pitches down which is, I guess, to be expected. 
Maybe the fuss line wants to go slightly higher. It's hard to tell if it's the air that's pitching it about or the, the aeroplane itself. I'm not going to go left because the sun will be right in my eyes. Motor down. Oh dear, I was going to, oh no, oh no. Uh, what I was going to do then was open the throttle and go full up, but it pulled it down. And I fear guys that that is probably wrecked. Oh, oh dear, I was going to, oh no, oh no. Well, the battery's in place, so let's disconnect that first of all. It proved the concept though, didn't it? The motor's come out of its cradle. Turn that off. That's taken a bit of a bashing. If that's the worst thing, that'll be great, but because it was kind of pulling out. When I evaluate the video, we'll see what's happened. Prop spinner's come off. That's a, oh gosh, that motor's warm. Golly jeepers, chaps. That's a warm motor. Uh, something's crunched there, look. Let's put the motor just there a minute. Well, it did go in cleanly down, didn't it? I think we might have got away with this. The motor mount's not broken, it's just snapped that little bit there and the cable ties come off around it. That motor performed very well though. So what flew off over there was probably just a piece of balsa wood, I think, which is neither hitting nor there. But I'll give you a little tip. And the tip is this. When you've had an accident like this, and you get home and you find something critical is missing, you'll never find it in this field. I mean, I'm struggling to find it now gunshot struggling to find it now uh, whatever it was but if I get home and find that there's something missing you want to mark the position where you are now so you can come back tomorrow evening and have a good search around hello <laughs> so that's how we break things guys um, silly thing to do I just wanted to see the motor pop up as it flew past uh, which I didn't see. So it'll make an interesting bit of video to analyse what happened, but I think it's proved the concept. She does fly. She's got a funny little sort of wobble going on, to something to investigate, but um, the wind's blowing the camera around it. But overall, I'd say I'm quite happy with that. That was quite successful. And uh, we'll see what you guys got to say about it. But I'm happy. Hit the, um, hit the little like button down below, thumbs up button and that helps the analytics uh, thanks very much for watching and if you want to subscribe and follow my channel that'd be great as well cheers guys the mounting plate for the pivot it's just come unstuck on the fuselage side if i go forward you can see in there so i'm going to the plate itself is completely intact. You can't see it so much outside. In fact, I think it no, it is moving. So I'm going to epoxy that in, make it good and sound. That's inertia for you. Oh, I'll tell you what it was. It's the propeller, wasn't it? Chewed it up. So when that went bump, the prop came off and probably went downhill slightly struck well it must have done because it struck there it struck there and then it guillotined its way through there Oof, like that so yes look it's equidistant apart isn't it we there there and the next one was here cut right through <laughs> 
anyway guys so I'm gonna repair this excellent let's get on with it